All right, Shalom. I want to start off with giving all praise and glory to Yahweh. Ba'ashim Yahushai. Ba'ashim Haraka Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Another walk and talk to the spirit, though, whether hoping it's edifying. And um, this is based off an article that I came across last night. You know, and um, this was dealing with Best Buy, right? Now, I stated that Best Buy is uh, per year, it says that it's going to um, close down stores. It says about, about 15 to 20 Best Buy stores per year, right? So I maybe want to title this video The Economic Downfall at Babylon the Great the, uh, the Morality Right? The Low Morality of America Babylon the Great, also known as the Daughter of Babylon See these things These things that we are witnessing Right? It's just showing you the, 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 It's just showing you the decline Right? And the destruction That's happening Within and without to the daughter of Babylon. Okay, all these things are signs of the fall of this place, right? Which is a beautiful thing because we know the fall of this place of, of this place leads to our kingdom, leads to our rest, leads to rest restoration of the planet Earth in its entirety. Okay? Everything that you see will be put back in its rightful order, in its rightful position, back when, as the Lord said, it was good. All right? That's what we're looking forward to. That's the hope that we have. As the scripture says in the book of Hebrews, chapter 13, verse 14, for here, is it for, uh, yep, for here we have no continuous city, but we seek one to come. We want, we seek in the kingdom of righteousness we sing in the kingdom of peace tranquility rest right order these are things that we uh, uh, are seeking you know and you're not going to find that here uh, in, in Babylon the great mystery Babylon so let's let's read a little bit on this article because this is the one I just found this morning before I uh, uh, click record it says millennials are losing their cars millennials are increasingly using their cars for using Salaki, uh, increasingly seeing their cars face repossession with no calls to attorneys regarding the topic reaching levels not seen since the pandemic oh that, and that's another thing right that was mentioned in that article that i read last night dealing with best buy it says best buy has never recovered since the whole scamdemic situation and best buy is not the only hold on best buy is not the only store that's dealing with this issue right and best buy have been around for a very long time but a lot of places that you have been seeing you know that have been around for a very long time they're losing it you know and not only are they losing it because the people don't have the money and the funds to uh purchase items you know, but uh, um, you know, there's really, there's, there's really getting to a point where there's no need for people to go into, go in, in go into the uh, physical store because of the, of the, uh, the online shopping. You know, you could just go online, browse around, find what you want, add it to your cart, and, and put purchase, and you can either go pick it up in the store curbside, or you can get it delivered directly to your home if you don't feel like going out and about you know so a lot of stores are going that route are using that method and say look why do we need to uh, uh have a, a physical store when we could just use a warehouse okay have a bunch of employees at this warehouse and, and, and truckers and we could just deliver goods this way and this will save us money there's no need to have the warehouse you know, and this actual store you know, and then you got the competitor issue. All right. Dealing with these, a lot of these different places as well. And, and let me tell you this. <laughs> Amazon is a huge competitor to all these places. You know, you can usually tip or you could typically find your know, things 
that you know you see at you're used to seeing at this store let's just use best Buy for example you might find it on amazon for 30 dollars cheaper you know i don't know if the quality is the same but it is it's, it's, it's pretty much ideal okay so these are different things of why these different places um are, are failing right and i'm sure there may be more but that's enough to be mentioned in a few where you can where you get the idea but let's go here it says amid economic pressure from sticky inflation it's another thing right increasing layoff announcements and and escalating living costs this is all down row spiral for the daughter of babylon it's going to get a lot worse Okay, things are going to get a lot more tighter. But see, people, they, they don't see it yet. You see, the Bible speaks about these different things happening. You know, before the actual downfall of this place. It's going to get real wicked out here. It's going to get real chaotic. Let's continue. It says, the millennial demographic is par particularly vulnerable. Financial distress signals are loud and clear as individuals struggle to navigate the challengers or challenges posed by econo uh, economy that's squeezing their wallets and threatening their mobility according to the legal shields january consumer stress legal index issued tuesday consumer finance inquiries generally decreased over the month but there has been an increase in calls regarding car repossessions and billing disputes particularly among gen x and millennials the number of calls received by legal shield provider attorneys regarding repossessions reached its highest mark since 2021 when most of the U.S. was still under the lockdown with Gen Xers and millennials making more than double the number of calls than they did in January of the previous year. Billing disputes surged year on year among Gen X and millennials, legal shield said, who experienced a 90. 96% increase in billing inquiries. Calls are up across the board as well, with 53% increase among legal shield members, indicating a broader rise in billing related issues. John Soterelli, a legal shield provider, attorney from Texas, identified three primary factors contributing to the surge of inquiries regarding bankruptcies, repossessions and billing disputes. Credit card defaults intensify collection efforts and the impact of inflation. Consumers we talk only have enough money to cover some of their bills, so they prioritize, right? Prioritize a roof over their head. Uh over uh head over other expenses. Yeah. Because a roof over your head uh, is your priority. I mean, it's, it's needful. It's a priority. You know, now the scriptures talk about a a, a place to cover. Oh, let me see. Let me get this uh, uh, cover shame. Let's see if I can find that. Shame. Okay, Ecclesiastes chapter 29, verse 21, it says, let's see if there's more on this. Ooh. Right, okay. So it says, the chief thing for a lot for life is water, which eat and taint it. Right, he used it as a weapon to destroy you. And bread and clothing, right? All these different things, the necessities of life that I'm speaking of, he has weaponized it against you, right? Your water, your food, your clothing, the, 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 the air you breathe, right? Your woman or your man or your, your children. This nigga done found a way to weaponize these different things to be used against you, right? He, he He's a complete demon. It says, in a house to cover shame. You know, here it is, right? And I'll, me and the brothers always talk about this, brothers amongst the camp, that, bro, you're, you're, you, we're paying these different uh, 
you know, home bills, right? Rent, mortgage, even let's just say utilities, because we need all these different things to uh, uh, to survive, right? And you know, especially in this day and age. But your beard, you're, you're you're at work more than you're at home. Your children are at school more than they're at home. You know, and I'm talking about up being active. Right? Think about it. Think about it. A kid goes to school for what? Is it, is it eight hours? Right? Not, not, not uh, counting traveling time. So let's say average traveling time for a kid to go to school maybe about 45 minutes. So about nine hours a day, they're, they're gone. Out the house. And I'm not, when I say active, I'm not including sleep. You know? I said average person maybe gets mm, seven to eight hours of sleep. But I'm just guessing. I, I'm not sure. You know, so let's just say eight, you get eight hours of sleep, right? Nine hours, nine, uh, yeah, eight hours of sleep, nine hours, you know, for school and, and commute, depending on your situation. We already had, we already had a, what I say? Nine hours commute in school. Or no, let's say sleep. Nine hours for commute in school. That's, we already had 17, right? Now, you get home, you get home maybe, uh, what's that? Uh, two, three. Some kids get out of school at 4 o'clock. You might get home at 4.30. So now, you get home at 4.30. You have 5.30, 6.30, 7.30, 8.30, 9.30. That's five hours. Let's just say 10.30, right? Six hours. Six hours you're up, active, you know, moving around your, your home, you know, trying to get things done. And that's if you fit on the schedule that I'm talking about. What about the people that get off at 5 o'clock p.m., 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, you know what I'm saying? The boy E got people working all types of hours and shifts where people's bodies don't even function right. And we ain't even going to talk about the graveyard shift. But let, let, me, let me get back on track because I'm... You know, you think about these different things and how the, the, the society is set up, bro. This is it's set up for you, it's set up in a corporate world for you just to, to, to work and not be able to try to think straight to be able to manage your home properly. You know, but they want you to manage that corporate job properly. You mean, fuck this place, man. This is bullshit. You know it, I know it, and you know it. You see? But see, the, the great thing is we know that there's an end to this. Right, this is not the end all be all for us. Not not the daughter of Babylon. But let's continue. Salakia says Ecclesiastes chapter 29, verse 21. The chief thing for life is water and bread and clothing and a house to cover shame. The water Yahabashima Shai for you know giving me these things. You know, the water Yahabashima Shai for uh, providing for his uh his 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 servants, you know, his faithful ones. Okay. The ones that desire the truth. And that believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Servants, you know, the, the woman, even if, your, even if it's your household, if you believe. Okay? We got to continue to pray, praise Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for these things that we do have. Because look, the Lord gives and he taketh away. Don't get it twisted. Verse 22 Better is the life of a poor man in a mean cottage than delicate fare in another man's house. So it's better, Salah, my, my son is just on the only. So it's, it's better to what? What it's saying is to have your own. Okay? And that's what that's really going into. It's better to have your own. Hold on. I want to lock you. I'm back. Verse 23 says, Be it little or much, hold thee, hold thee contended that thou hear not reproach of thy house. For it is miserable life to go from house to house. For where thou art a stranger, thou darest not to open thy mouth. Yeah, because you're going to be very careful. You know, when you're in another person's house, which is also respect. But you're going to be, you feel like you're going to be walking on what? Eggshells. 
when you're in someone else's presence, you know, or in their home. Okay? Thou shalt entertain and feast and have no thanks. Moreover, thou shalt hear bitter words. Uh, you know, but I, that's, that's all I'm really getting to that. The point was of of how I was saying that people are prior, prioritizing uh, having a home to, and bills, you know, or, or getting on, you know, different payment arrangement plans. The big thing now is the whole, uh, was, was the, the, there's a surge in the, the buy now, pay later. You know, if you want something that costs a few hundred, you know, the typical person, you had a mindset, like, if I came by once, twice, or, or not once, but if I came by three times, I'm not buying it. Or if I just don't got it, I ain't buying it. But certain things you need for when you get put in situations where it's like, I'm just going to do the buy now, pilot, pay, pay later plan. If this item I want is, let's just say, 400 bucks, and they're only saying, hey, you can, uh... You can pay $100 every two weeks, which the average person gets paid bi-weekly every two weeks. You're like, shit, well, every two weeks? I give you $100 every two weeks to get this item that I need right now? Then I'm going to do that. And this is what a lot of people are resorting to. They can't just pay up front because they don't have the cash or they don't have the, uh, the credit. Like I say, everything is at an all-time high. Uh, uh, credit cards, you know, credit card defaults, you know, uh, repos. Uh, bankruptcies, everything that you could think of. So this place is, is circling the drain. All right, let's get the scripture. So let's the initial scripture I wanted to start off with was this. <clears throat> Ecclesiastes chapter twelve, verse one. It says, "Remember now, thy Creator, in the days of thy youth." While the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. And guess who? We are in that time. You know, that's why the scripture says, a wop circumspect. Right? Not as a what? Not as a fool, but as wise. You got to be a fool to think this place ain't being destroyed. You got to be a fool to continue to walk around and roam the earth. Not in the spirit, especially if you know this truth. But we gotta what? We gotta be wise. This, the, the decisions we gotta we make, we have to be wise. You know, we're really in a no room for error. You know, less. You know, uh, I ain't gonna say less nothing. The grace and mercy belongs to Yahweh about Shimon Shai, but we're not in no no room to operate in error. Just as if you know the Lord will um, 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 show us mercy. You know, on different occasions, right? But we are to now remember thy creator. Not when all hell break loose. No, now. You see? Because the thing about us trusting and believing in Yahweh Shai now, you know, when things do happen, it was like, I always believe. I always trusted in you that you would, you would take care of me. You know? That your way is the way. Because I ain't got the way. Right? This is, the scripture says, there's a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the ends thereof are what? Are death. You know? What is that? Uh, 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 Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 9. The heartful is deceitful above all things and desperately what? Wicked. Who can know it? Yeah, your mind will trick you. Your mind will deceive you. Your mind, your, your mind will make you think that you got it all. It's all right. You get it all figured out. That's what your mind will make you to believe. No. The Lord ever got everything, got everything figured out. And he got the blueprint set up for us. We just need to stay on task and follow that. Right? The hell will follow in the ways of this world. The broader way is the broader way to lead us into destruction. So we gotta stay on track and and and, and uh uh, follow the straight gate. <clears throat> so verse 2 it says, While the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened, will the clouds return after rain in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble? 
and the strong man shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease because they are few, and those that look out their windows be darkened. And the stores shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low. And he shall rise up the voice at the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of the mu of music shall be brought low. And this is what we are witnessing. We are witnessing this right now. <laughs> right? Right now we are witnessing is the grinding is ceasing. And we never gonna talk about the, the music. Oh, it's it's horrible. Horrible. You know, this music is not even uh, 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 really uplifting. And, and it's not even uplifting, uplifting, you know, and in, in, in a matter of, you know, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll say this as far as the music. Only what only thing that, uh, this music is up, uplifting is the spirit of, of, of party, the spirit of rebellion, the spirit of sin. That That's what this music is uplifting. You know, complete madness, violence against one another. That's what this music is uplifting. It's not uplifting your spirit. See, the only thing that's uplifting your spirit is the what? This, this new song. As King David said, this is my comfort in my afflictions. You know? <clears throat> so the point being is like as I was starting out the lesson. Bro, it's, it's the grinding is ceasing. It's ceasing. More job losses. Hum, the homeless rate is, is out the roof. You know? More business bankruptcies. More uh, 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 more layoffs. Right? So we are witnessing, as I said before, we are witnessing the decline of the daughter of Babylon. People are just hold, just holding on. You know, barely getting by. So that was actually so that article I actually brought out, and that was really dope. Because it's covering a lot of things, you know, basically that I was gonna say. What's happening with this place? But here it is, you got it, you know, buy it in them, which this is see, this is all stirring things up within the within the people within the daughter of Babylon. Biden and I'm sending all them all this money to Ukraine, right? People are pissed. Americans are pissed that they're barely holding on. Okay? That they stressed out, they depressed, they on all types of antidepressants. You know, living paycheck to paycheck, but here it is, you got this this mofo sending billions of dollars you know, to another country. <laughs> right? <clears> oh, <throat> uh, you got these uh these, these immigrants coming, and it's not just people from South America, you know, but these immigrants are coming from all across the country. I didn't see you know a multiple of different nations that's coming across that that border, you know. And on top of that, with these people coming across the border, these people are about to get supposedly or allegedly, as I seen on another article yesterday, you know, as so I said allegedly that they're proposing. Or they already set forth of a a, a ten thousand dollar a, a debit card limit, ten grand, bro. The average American don't even have a thousand dollars in their savings account right now. What the hell are you talking about giving someone who just crossed the border ten thousand dollar a ten thousand uh, dollar? I think it's a debit card or credit card limit. However, so, something where they got a card where it's ten thousand bucks on it, right? So, so these things are really just pissing Americans off that are just uh, trying to get by, just trying to feed their families and struggling to do so. So now they're pissed. So, so there's a fire, right? Before it, comes, before it comes from the outside, it's happening within the inside. And when I say come from the outside, you know, I'm talking about the thermonuclear destruction from the other nations. But there's a, there's a, a, a war at home, so to speak. There's a war within the daughter of Babylon. Multiple wars. You know? Class. Gender. Food. Race. Civil. Must I go on? 
You see? So we are watching up the fire within this place before the fire comes from the out. And that might be another video, Lord willing. Put on my spirit to do so. A fire within before the fire without. Yeah, I, like, I think I like that. <laughs> before the fire comes without. Um. So let's uh let's take a little bit more on here. It says Satarelli said in a statement, collections are turning up the heat after the after the scammy scamdemic and increasing inflation makes what money people do have worth less. Um and I, 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 that's that's pretty much the point. You know, as the, the daughter of Babylon is on an epi, is on an economic downturn. You know, the morality of this place, the energy and the vibration, you know, outside the the, the elect, you know, is getting lower and lower. So it's in our best interest to protect our spirit, protect our mind. You know, from the from the demonic plague that's going on out throughout the earth, because that's what you done. That's what it, it seems like it is. It's just like a plague, a demonic, satanic plague upon these people. And these people, right? A lot of these people, you know, or the, some of these people are people we know, family, so-called friends or associates of the world, however you want to call them. Co-workers, there's a freaking plague upon these people, man. A demonic, anti-Messiah spirit plague upon the minds of these people. So we got to continue to pray for each other in the spirit of power. You how about in the names in the spirit of power? You how about you shy that you may protect us in our homes? Uh, uh, yeah, us in our household. You know the brethren. You know the the, the ones that are faithful. Unto you, how about Shimao Shai? So that was just something quick to the spirit, quick walk and talk, Lord, with the hope was edifying. Till next time, I want to say Shalom.